Hi guys, first day of the month, um, month end yesterday, we'll move on to to start off with, with equities I think, best place to start, last night Apple and Amazon disappointed, Trump reigniting the, the trade war, not a good day, not a good finish to the month uh, for stocks, uh, well last day of the month is actually the best April in, in a very long time, let's just have a look where we did finish, failed to get above uh, our, our resistance point here. Uh, if you want to get in the fib, and this, you know, it's a self fulfilling prophecy in my opinion most of the time. But we did finish below the six point one eight fib. Um, is this the top? And we drift all the way back down lower. No, I don't think so. But absolutely, we would do a a little recovery for for the bears to to have taken over. Let's have a quick look just uh, at how we are going into the open. Big zone here for the end of the week. I, I would go as far as saying if we finish above that today, that's a little minor victory for the Bulls and we, we push higher next week. Below there, uh, you'd be looking at this level for, for the X, next point where people would be looking at 2811s uh, as well, which happens to be my mid-range from, from last week. Uh, below there, then we'd be looking down around 27.59, let's call it 60. Uh, and then the bottom of my range here as well. Interestingly, overnight we did finish below last week's high as well, pretty much where we then uh, decided to gap lower. So yeah, a couple of levels for the bulls to, to get us above, the bears below. If we stay within that range, there's no, there's no way I'm gonna sort of necessarily plan a bias for next week. I mean, anything can happen over the weekend, that's for sure. Um, People, I would say, in recent times have been a bit more happy to hold risk over the weekend. Um, last, when was Monday? It would be the 20... What would be Monday? be the 27th. So the... Yeah, so you see Monday here, we, we went down the open, we pushed on. Monday before that, we came down, so can't really read too much into that. Currencies yesterday, nice little pop in either direction. Euro above here, bullish. Um, but I'd actually like a, a long next week from these lows. The pound, 125 area, give or take, is very important. And this is that point here. We're testing it. We, we have to stay the week above that, above this line here. It's drawn on from those highs. It's not looking too pretty for the bulls yet, but we're, we're yet to get a real test of that. So I'd be be confident this is my point I do want to get long I tweeted earlier about that but I'd rather it be next week um, and, it, and it's just perhaps come a bit too early uh, gold interesting levels be aware of uh, you can see we we moved down uh, this morning this is a, a point where the, the balls have to defend it or we, we drop quick we drop quick um, down to 1653 and then obviously got a bit of support here. I mean, I'd really like a long 16, 13. I don't think we get there, but you can see just over the last, uh, well, let's take us back to almost a month ago. Big level, big levels to keep an eye on there for gold. So equities, we've got our levels uh, marked up here. Let's wait for the cash open. Gold, the bears uh, and the bulls have got a, a battle one at 16.71. Currencies, a little retracement for euro would be nice. Pounds at that level now, but is it a bit too early? Labor Day in Europe, volume low, last day of the week, first day of the month, maybe best to wait until uh, Monday, Tuesday next week.